Thomas is making up tuba music to the bouncing of the ball. Here we go. This is very strange. <laughs> very strange. <laughs> I have a glandular problem. <laughs> Here's my CVS card. Why do you have my CVS card, cat? Look at that. He's got my extra care card. Where did you get that? Out of my purse? Fresh. Wow. Okay, so it's um Friday. Friday morning, uh, October 2nd. I'm on my way to therapy late again because every time I have a session, I don't want to go and I procrastinate myself. And in this case, I started watching TV and then I didn't even realize what time it was. And I got so upset from watching footage about shootings that I put on a movie, a scary movie, <laughs> older guys. And then I'm like, what am I watching? I gotta go. I'm so weird. Am I really that strange that, uh, like, I'm a mother, right? I got a zillion things to do today. And by myself, I'm supposed to go here, go there, go there, and be back and get someone before two. And, and I'm watching a movie. I could be vacuuming, I could be cleaning, I could be taking a shower. And I'm watching a movie, drinking coffee. And a scary movie on a windy, rainy day. <laughs> I actually like scary movies. Isn't that weird? kind of like redundant. I've been going to therapy, honestly, you guys, for years and years and years because uh, it was the post-traumatic stress because when Daniel was eight weeks old, he had a respiratory illness that caused him to stop breathing completely in my arms. He coded and we almost lost him and it was a mess. It, it, it was just, and I mean, this is 17 years later and I'm, I'm past it. I've never really quite been the same. Like, yeah, I don't know. Are your kids safe in your schools? Do your schools have uh, guards and a system where you have to present a driver's license after going through two security doors that you get buzzed through? Can't even bring a lunch to Thomas. Like, first of all, you have to go in. All the schools have gates, and you have to go by an outside security guard who just checks on who you are. And when you park and go in, there's security cameras everywhere at all the schools now. You have to buzz through two doors, and it's like that, I think, at all the schools now um, in our town. And then the security guard will take care of everything. You can't talk to the office. You can't talk to a teacher. You can't talk to anybody until you go through the security guard, present them with your driver's license, have them check your identity, call into wherever you want to talk to, and verify that it's a valid reason why you're coming. That's what we deal with. And... And that's okay, because that's our new normal, you know? Kids go to school at colleges, though. And, like, I walk around my daughter's college, and it's like... You can understand why it's so easy for anyone to just walk in and shoot, because they have separate buildings and classrooms and easy access, kids walking in and out, and it's kind of terrifying, you know? But this is the world we live in. It's, it's mental health, it's guns, it's sick people sick people wanting fame it's shootings getting massive 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 media attention these guys want to go out in a blaze of glory most of them and what happens we give it to them we give them their blaze of glory it's on every single news channel the news media just want to heal privately and they sensationalize and everybody goes wacko and then time goes by and then people forget about Columbine and people forget about Aurora and people forget about Virginia Tech and people forget about Sandy Hook except the people who live in those towns, right? We don't forget about it. We have been altered and changed forever and I have just, I had such an emotional day yesterday. All right, so yeah, there it is. <laughs> There's my psychosis, okay? It's just brought back a lot of uh, really painful memories that never go away. We're haunted, you know. So, yeah. It's 
So I'm not really wanting to go to therapy today because all she's going to say is, how are things? And I'm, I'm in a, f I'm having one of those fragile days today. It's kind of a weird Friday. It's very gloomy outside and it's raining. I had to go to therapy this morning and that was like, bleh. So, I guess the good news is I've been kind of blah today. I don't know. It's weird. Sometimes I just can't get myself initiated. I have so much to do. It's weird. It's like my days, sometimes I'm kind of like mellow during the day. And then my energy spurt comes around five, six o'clock. <laughs> I never used to be like that. I always used to be like uh, up in the morning and I have always spunk in the morning and then, you know, be sleepy by the afternoon. So I don't know what's going on. So I don't know if they're going to play or not. It's not really raining at the moment, but it's looking like it's gonna. So yeah, we'll see. <clears throat> and then tomorrow he's got a competition. And I'm not sure if we're going to go. If it's raining, I won't bring Daniel because obviously it's not good for him or any of us to sit out in the pouring rain. However, the kids will still perform. A lot of times they'll, if, it, if it's too bad to do their um, show on the field, they will um, go inside and at least perform the music indoors, I guess. I took a shower and I felt better. <clears throat> and I'm so chilled. Like, I got all my sweatshirts in the washing machine. Like, all of them are dirty. I'm cleaning them, but uh, it's like raw and damp and chilly. So I feel like going in the car and just blasting the heat for a few minutes just to feel warm. I'm going to look for the little space heaters because sometimes just having a little bit of warmth makes you feel better when your body aches like mine does and that's half my problem is I'm achy and I get lazy and then I have to make myself move and stretch <clears throat> anyhow all right so I'm gonna head out now and I'll be picking up Thomas I'll see John later we're probably going out to dinner tonight because tomorrow is our 23rd anniversary <sighs> Unbelievable, 23 years. We want to celebrate, but it's weird. Like, just making it this far is a celebration in itself. <laughs> so, yeah, sure, I wish I could go do something really special, but I don't want anything. And just just a chance to have dinner and, like, have adult conversation for an hour, that's a gift. So we do have da Daniel's nurse until 9. So, early dinner, <laughs> that's it. It's cold out here. It's like chilly, like freezing. Like not freezing, but. And then I are venturing out into the world. I need to go get some few groceries and anniversary card for John. Pick up Thomas. Find out if he's got a football game or not tonight. Oh, it's chilly. Ooh. So everybody has some really really profound things that they're posting about um, our reactions to the shooting in Oregon. <coughs> you know, it just, it's just, I think the main word that comes to mind for most people is you're just numb, like numb. It's a club you don't want to be a part of, I can tell you that. Um, it's just still really sad to think that our children can go to school and be shot and can go to college and be shot or we can go to the anywhere and be shot so often so frequently so much more than anywhere else in this world well i don't know about the world but civilized countries what's going on here you know I mean, obviously, you know, there's all, they politicize everything. Politics, politics, control the guns, um, you know, more mental health. But nothing ever gets done, nothing ever gets passed. And if it gets initiated and you fight for it, there just seems to be a lot of disappointment because it's just not making any changes, right? Maybe someday they will. I don't know. I, I don't know how many deaths is it going to take until someone finally says, enough, enough already. It's tough. And it's just going to keep happening. 
I gotta get my mind off of that. It's been really bothering me. So I'm waiting for Tom as he's driving me crazy. It's pouring rain. I want I have groceries in the car. I was supposed to get them at four. Now he's telling me, can you get me at four thirty or at a half an hour? This is the first time. Whoa! This place is like possessed. I had two lights over there just blow out on me at the same time simultaneously. Pop pop. Things are falling. Things are going crazy. Hi, Henry. Oh. Press, and we offer in spades. The worst question is often the first. Who's the shooter? Which powers an engine of attention that eggs on future atrocity. A loser sees he can garner fame unmet in prior obscurity. I'm with this guy. Let me be very clear. I will not name the shooter. I will not give him the credit he probably sought prior to this horrific and cowardly act. I continue to believe that those media and community members who publicize his name will only glorify his horrific actions. And eventually this will only serve to inspire future shooters. We know this, shooters are obsessed with previous shooters, which is why we must share some blame and separate losers from the limelight. Treat this crime like teen suicide and deliberately downplay it to block its spread. At least that's a solution, not pointless passion at a press conference. What did we do before cable? Were we transfixed in an agitated state addicted to breaking news? No, we heard a bulletin on the car radio, expressed grief, and then we pressed on. Now it's changed. We get 911 calls, eyewitnesses, friends of eyewitnesses, texts, tweets, relatives and neighbor testimonials, commentaries, summaries. We create 10 feature length films around the actions of a fiend. We become the marquee for infamy. We spend hours. Oh, that's on what I was motive. talking about. But let's be honest, we are the motive. So, KG, the sheriff has the right idea. Don't, make the, don't uh, say, the, say the creep's name. But I don't think it's far enough. I think that we have culpability here in the in the in the coverage that we offer nonstop. Am I wrong? I mean, Juan, that's the, the issue. It, it, there's a way to report this, but to pull it back so it's not a spectacle. It's just a, a gory crime. But it feels to me that we, the media has a vested interest in making this big. If you have certain assumptions politically about it. Yeah, I think on both sides, I think there's an agenda to be pursued because people are so deeply invested in their opinion on one side of this issue or the other. But what struck me from your uh, your memo was that, you know, he, he was fascinated with this kid who did the shooting uh, in Hollywood, I believe it was. Right, right. So he is talking about that kid. He's talking about the mass murderer uh, in Virginia. Uh, just recently committed yeah. that crime, and he's talking about how that guy got attention. Mm -hmm. So what you're saying is not speculative. It's the fact. No, the, 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 every spree killer references another spree killer, because, and they're always trying to beat the number. They're always trying to beat the number. Sick. It, and, and that's why, I mean, I, I, at least this is a solution, Eric. I mean, we know the lo these losers track each other. Hi. What you watching? Incredibles? My footage of you is always of you very, very tired at the end of the day. <laughs> Except for Saturdays when I have you. When is uh, Jennifer supposed to start? I think not this weekend, the one following. How we doing? Huh? We had Gary today? Yeah, because Gary came oh, and yeah. left. That's right. That's right. We had a little crossover. Daddy and Mommy are going out to dinner. Somewhere fast. You can do it, you can do it. X marks the spot. Dot, dot, dot. Question mark, dot. Summer breeze. To freeze. You'll have the chilies. <laughs> Almost a smile. <laughs> Oh, Henry, come on. Look at this thing. All right, enough. You've been with me too long today.
this is the leaving fan there. The happy anniversary tuba solo. Bye, Thomas. 23 years. 23 years? On October 3rd, Man. 1992. Was it 92? Sarah was born in what, 95? 95. Sarah was born in 95. Man. Daniel was born in 97. 97. And Thomas was born in 2000. 2001. 2000 or 2001? Yeah. There was, little, there was a little break. I'm, I'm really actually surprised we had another baby, really, actually. I'm not. I think we like talked about it and then it happened. I'm not. You're not surprised? Mm -hmm. Well. Not at all. When we started having kids, we were 29. Yeah, 29. I don't know, were we that old? I was in my, tw yeah. I thought it was 28, 27. Maybe I was younger than that. If I got married, like I was 26. No, you were 25. 26. 25. You were 25. And I turned 25 after we got married. Okay, something like that. That's what I recall. But I had Thomas, I was in my 30s though. Oh yeah. So, and we're going yeah. out to dinner. Oop, why don't you pick it up the back? At Brownwood Grill, it's cold and raining. Hi, can we have a spot by the fire, please, please? It's on and off, it's up raining. It was everything I could do just to get myself to take a shower today. You know, it was just like, Man, what a life you lead. Really? That's the biggest thing on your no, plate? No, it's That's not the good. Biggest thing on your plate I have today? No, no, it's not good. It's not good. How can that be the only thing on your plate today? It wasn't. You need to move your tush. <laughs> the leaves are changing, but I can't see them because it's raining. Show us. <laughs> Show us your bank. We're stuck in traffic on our street on 34, rather. Apparently, it looks like there's a accident or something up there. Salt and salt. Oh boy. Oh no, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. <laughs> Boing bop. That's. Don't play with the ball, no! This is my new exercise ball. I thought I got the big one. I ordered the small one by accident, but Thomas is making up tuba music to the bouncing of the ball. Here we go. This is very strange. Very strange. <laughs> okay, stop. Any time now. <laughs> hey, be careful. Hey, how's you it might, going? You might hit my puppy. Henry, you want this ball? Here. Here. Go get the ball. He's like, wait a minute, that's too big, I'm going away. Go get it. Get it. Get the ball. Get the ball, Henry. Get the ball. He's like, wait, wait a minute. That's not for me. That's a ball. Looks like a planet. Mom, you're scaring you. Stop. Look how low his tail is. Go get it, Henry. Oh. <laughs> no. When he's nervous or depressed, his tail goes down. And no, his tail's not down. Oof. Just spent an hour relaxing. And then... Dave left and then Daniel started crying five minutes after he left. But I got him to settle down. Sometimes I'm just not sure what it is, you know. It's very hard. Could have just been the need for a diaper change. I don't know. But you go through all the motions, you know, figure it out. And then he just sort of like settles in and falls back asleep again. So, John, I had a nice dinner out, um, but now I'm tired. 
and tomorrow's Saturday, so who knows what's going to happen. But I'm going to go to bed now. Everyone's good. Sarah's busy at school with her sorority. Hopefully, I think she's coming home next weekend for fall break weekend. Like a long weekend. And that's about it. Just locking up the house. Making sure the animals are okay. Good night, Theo. Nighty night. What do you have? Look, CV here's my CVS card. Why do you have my CVS card, cat? Look at that. He's got my extra care card. Where did you get that? Out of my purse? Fresh. Fresh. He takes things like this. You want that? Yeah, yeah. Good thing I have two. 